The skies of modern warfare have seen a rise in the dominance of unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, and among them, the Shahed-129 and Tapas stand out. Originating from Iran, the Shahed-129 was introduced as a formidable tool in reconnaissance and combat, reflecting significant advancements in Iranian UAV technology. On the other side, the Tapas UAV, developed by India, showcases the strides made by the country in indigenous drone technology. While the Shahed-129 has been a part of Iran's aerial arsenal since around 2012, India's Tapas, also known as Rustam II, has been under development for several years and represents a cornerstone of India's UAV ambitions. Both UAVs were born out of a necessity to enhance surveillance capabilities and execute precise strikes without risking human lives, a common theme in modern military strategies. These drones not only symbolize technological prowess, but also embody the strategic aspirations of their respective nations. By comparing these two UAVs, we delve into an examination of how different nations approach drone technology and warfare. The Shahid-129 and Tapas each come with their own set of strengths and weaknesses, which we will explore in the following sections. In this exploration, we dive deeper into the specifications, capabilities and roles of these UAVs, providing insights into their operational effectiveness and technological sophistication. This comparison not only enlightens us about the UAVs themselves, but also about the broader implications of drone technology in modern warfare. In the realm of UAVs, size, weight and payload capacity play crucial roles in determining their operational utility. The Shahid-129, with a wingspan of 16 meters and a weight of around 450 kilograms, can carry up to four missiles or equivalent payload. This configuration allows it to perform a variety of missions, from surveillance to direct engagement. Its relatively large size enhances its endurance and payload capacity, making it a versatile asset in Iran's military strategy. Contrastingly, Tapas boasts a slightly larger wingspan of 20.6 meters and a heavier build, tipping the scales at about 1,800 kilograms. This increase in size and weight translates to a higher payload capacity, capable of carrying up to 350 kilograms of equipment, including sensors and armament. This makes Tapas highly suitable for multi-role missions, ranging from intelligence gathering to combat operations. The difference in their build and design philosophies highlights the diverse approaches of Iran and India in optimizing their UAVs for different operational contexts. While Shahid-129 focuses on flexibility and ease of deployment, Tapas emphasizes enhanced capabilities and payload versatility, catering to a wide range of mission requirements. These technical distinctions not only reflect the engineering choices made by their developers, but also influence the strategic utility of the UAVs. As we continue, it becomes evident that these choices have profound implications on their operational effectiveness and adaptability in various combat scenarios. Endurance and range are critical factors that define the operational ceiling of any UAV. The Shahid-129 boasts an impressive endurance of up to 24 hours and a range of approximately 1,700 kilometers. This extended range and endurance facilitate prolonged surveillance missions and persistent presence in the combat zone, enhancing the strategic capabilities of the Iranian forces. Tapas, on the other hand, steps up with an even more remarkable endurance of over 30 hours and a similar range. This extended capability allows Indian forces to engage in long-duration missions across extensive geographical areas without the need for frequent redeployment. Such capabilities are crucial for maintaining a continuous operational tempo in varied and demanding environments. Moreover, both UAVs are equipped with advanced avionics and satellite communication systems, which enhance their operational flexibility. These systems allow the UAVs to operate in beyond-line-of-sight scenarios, a crucial feature for operations in hostile or remote areas. The ability to relay high-quality intelligence in real-time back to command centers significantly augments the decision-making process on the ground. 